Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please comment, share, like, subscribe. If any of this is resonating for you guys, such an amazing day. Thank you to all my subs. <laughs> you guys are so great. Thank you for all of your support, comments, love. Um, yeah, just getting with me offline, seeing how I'm doing, what's going on, <laughs> that type of thing, so great. So yeah, guys, repent repent okay um i kept on asking yesterday <laughs> oh i felt that one <laughs> uh i kept on asking yesterday about um dust uh confirmation about dust um you know and i, I wait until until i am guided to put out messages <laughs> um because i want to be very deliberate with you know the messages that i put out make sure they're from god <laughs> um <clears throat> but i got um, this morning I got a Bible verse about dust. Okay. Um, and it's Job chapter 42. Y'all need to repent. <laughs> it says, then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore, I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear and I will speak, I will question you, and you make it known to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. Whoa, dude. <laughs> um, very, very powerful stuff, dude. Um, yeah. So I got Job this morning, right? And then I'm going to read y'all a couple of other passages that I'm being guided, guided to read about dust. Um, so I'll go to Isaiah first because that's next on the list here. And it's Isaiah chapter 26, verse 19. And it says, Your dead shall live, their bodies shall rise. You who dwell in the dust, awake and sing for joy, for your dew is a dew of light, and the earth will give birth to the dead. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's uh, pretty heavy. And then also, I'm supposed to read... Shoot. Okay. <laughs> it might be a long one today, guys. Um... This is actually in Revelation, and it's um, supposed to read from verse 15, this is chapter 18, verse 15 to 20, okay? It says, The merchants of these wares who gained wealth from her will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. Alas, alas, for the great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels, and with pearls. For in a single hour all this wealth has been laid waste, and all shipmasters and seafaring men, sailors, and all whose trade is on the sea, stood far off and cried out as they saw the smoke of her burning. What city was like the great city? And they drew threw dust on their heads as they wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas, for the great city, where all who had ships at sea grew rich by her wealth. For in a single hour she had been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you saints and apostles and prophets, for God has given judgment for you against her. Bro, I was also getting, like, rush hour today. Um, I was in rush hour traffic, but I was getting a lot of rush, rush hour. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm getting chills, bro. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Um, super amazing. Yeah, I can feel that one in my stomach. Um, okay, so then, hang on, um, yeah, get that one out of there, hold on to that one, sorry guys, alright, so now I'm supposed to read Thessalonians here, and so before I go into the Thessalonians, Thessalonians verse. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about um, what I've been getting. Um, I'm get. I've been getting the 17th very strongly. Okay. 
I'm feeling that in my gut, bro. Something is happening on the 17th, okay? Um, now, I was asking for confirmation from the Holy Spirit, uh, legit, because I, you know, I want to give out good information. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, I, was, I was asking, and I got the word security, okay? And security came up a lot in a lot of different ways. And I was like, okay, Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's like, okay, Google. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. But, you know, patience. <laughs> patience um, when asking for confirmation. But I got, you know, security. And so I was guided to look it up in the Bible, of course. And it's from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And it's verse 3. But I'm going to actually read... Um, from verses 1 to 10, okay? So, the day of the Lord, chapter 5. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. <laughs> While people are saying there is peace and security. I'm going to say that again. While people are saying there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness so then let us not sleep as others do but let us keep awake and be sober for those who sleep sleep at night and those who get drunk are drunk at night but since we belong to the day let us be sober having put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet the hope of salvation for god has not destined us for wrath but to obtain salvation through our lord jesus christ who died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. <laughs> it's so amazing. It's so true, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get lulled into that false sense of security. You need to be woke. All right? Yeah. None of the Mickey Mouse nonsense. All right? So I'm cutting it out. Cutting the you know what. All right? We don't have time for it. You best be strong. You best take courage. You best man up. <laughs> right? Like, I've been saying this whole time. Holy moly, dude. How many episodes? Oh, wait. We're almost at 200 episodes. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome. Like I said, time is ticking, bro. Yeah. We need to reach out to as many people as we can. You know? Um, and we can't be afraid of that rejection either. Okay? <laughs> we need to say what's on our hearts, what's on our minds. Okay? And it all has to stem from love. All right and respect that's all i gotta say about that um so yeah and i also got dude there are gonna be those red flags of peace and security okay there are gonna be those red flags um and the ones that know better i got this from j vernon mcgee actually um the saints the saints are going to be the ones that know better, okay? That won't be deceived. <laughs> and the eights ain't going to know what hit them. They ain't going to know, bro. <laughs> they just straight up ain't. Um, and we're going to be on that arc. We're going to be on that arc. <laughs> yeah, we're building that arc right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, I need to read this part. Revelation, bro. I'm sorry. It's going to be a little bit long. <sighs> All right. So, excuse me. The messages of the three angels. Remember, I, I need to look up in, in my journal, but remember whenever I had written um, the three crows that I saw and I thought about the three angels and they were like skyrocketing through the sky and they had trumpets and they were sounding them and I thought arrival 
Y'all best watch out. <laughs> the messages of the three angels. Then I saw another angel flying directly overhead with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. And he said with a loud voice, fear God and give him glory because the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Another angel, a second followed saying, fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She who made all nations drink the wine of passion of her sexual immorality. And another angel, a third followed them saying with a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he also will drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and the pre in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night. These worshiper worshipers of the beast and its image, and whoever receives a mark of its name. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints. Endure. <laughs> Endure. Those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. <laughs> Beautiful guys, I told you. I was just talking about this yesterday. <laughs> and I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors for their deeds Don't take that mark. Don't take the mark. It's coming. Um, dang, bro. <sighs> dang. <laughs> we gotta be strong. Okay. All right, um, Psalm 117. It's beautiful, guys. Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol him, all peoples. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Praise him always, guys. We need to rejoice no matter what's happening, no matter what's coming our way. All right, we won't be deceived. We need to stay strong in Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um... And then Luke ch chapter 6, okay? The Beatitudes. And he lifted up his eyes, Jesus lifted up his eyes <laughs> on his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you shall be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all peoples speak well of you. For so their fathers did to the false prophets. Bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, it's coming. It's coming a lot quicker than you think. Um, yeah. And um, there's something else I wanted to say. Um... God's in control. He's in control. He he controls the Antichrist. He controls Satan. Okay? Just remember that. God is in control. Always is. Always has been. Always will be. Alright? Um, I would also look up Deliverance Prayers by Derek Prince. Because some of y'all still have that witchcraft attached to you. You need to purge it. Okay? Jesus is coming soon. You need to purge it. Yeah. Deliverance prayers. Look them up. It's very important that you do so. We don't have very much time. <laughs> Love you guys so much. But yeah, please rejoice. Rejoice. Okay? Love you guys so much. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>